So in three, two. Good evening. This is Chairwoman Julie Hen. I call to order the Board of Education of Baltimore County's public hearing on the new Northeast Ele Area Elementary School boundary. This evening's Board of Education hearing is being held virtually and broadcast through Microsoft Teams Live. The registration form for the public hearing was available to the public online and closed at 3 p.m. yesterday for anyone wishing to speak at this evening's hearing. Speakers' names will be called in the order of registration, and the next speaker's name will also be called and asked to be on deck and ready to provide their comments. While we encourage public input on the new Northeast Area Elementary School boundary this evening, this is not the proper forum to address specific student or employee matters or to comment on matters that do not relate to the boundary. I remind everyone that inappropriate personal remarks or other behavior that disrupts or interferes with the conduct of this meeting are out of order. Each speaker will be given three minutes to speak on the boundary. This public hearing is not the forum to speak on any other topics. I ask speakers to observe the three minute limit and conclude remarks when time has expired and you hear the tone. The call will be ended if a speaker addresses specific student or employee matters or is commenting on matters not related to the boundary. There are two speakers this evening. The first speaker tonight is Chadwick Springfield, who will be followed by Christopher Lowe. The last speaker is Christopher Lowe. So welcome, Chadwick Springfield. Are you on the line? Chadwick Springfield. Good evening. Mr. Springfield, you might have to hit star six to unmute. Hear me now? Yes, we can. Welcome. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, yes, I'm just looking. My main concern is which option are, I know that option two was recommended. I just wanna make sure that option two is the one we're going with uh, over option one. As for my area, option one does not make much sense. That they would end up passing the new school and the current school of Fullerton to go to Elmwood. Now that's that's my main concern with this. Okay, thank you very much. Right. Our next and final speaker is Christopher Lowe. Good evening and welcome. Christopher Lowe. All right, good. Yes, good evening. My name is Christopher Lowe. Thank you for this opportunity to voice my concerns regarding this boundary study. Um, our family has resided in Pear Hall since 2010 and will be impacted by this boundary study option one or two. We strongly oppose these changes as they will separate this area PB506 from the Pear Hall community. And I believe that removing it from job view elementary zone, the students will lose the sense of belonging and the community identity will change as a result. So with either option one or two, job review will have at will, will have a 91% utilization rate. Since the school is located fairly north from the new school, it is hard to understand more than 25% of the current students will be moved to the new school. So as a concerned parent, I would like to see what impact we would have if PB506 remains in the current zone. Are improvements to utilization and other metrics, for example, diversity or enrollment rate possible if PB506 remains in job review? Should there be sufficient capacity to allow for students in PB506 to attend their closest school? So all this option will impact the lives of students and families and the committee has been doing a tremendous job in this process. However, I personally cannot foresee the impact it would have on my family if the boundary option is approved as it stands. 
because my wife is visually impaired and solely relies on me for transportation. It is not feasible for me to transport the kids to and from the school and get my wife and myself to work in a timely manner. So any after school activities will need to be adjusted or canceled due to the time constraints. And as a legally blind parent, my wife depends on assistance and these boundary changes will further limit her access to our kids since the new school is much further away from my home. And this year we're seeing our daughter growing emotionally attached to her friends and teachers and she has flowers academically and her social skill, interpersonal skill have also grown due to a stable school environment. So we believe that the last two years of virtual learning were very hard on children's mental health development. This boundary change will create more issues by making them move away from the current schools where they have established strong bonds with their friends and teachers. So it is unimaginable to think that this boundary change will disrupt her young educational journey and take away what she's built at job review. With that said, um, we recommend that the committee and the Board of Education reconsider the boundary options one and two to keep PP506 in job review elementary zone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is announcements. The board's next meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022 at 6.30 p.m. The board is scheduled to vote on the boundary of the new Northeast Area Elementary at their March 8, 2022 meeting. Thank you for joining us this evening. The hearing is now adjourned. Have a good evening.